What's going on, guys? Eric Black here. We are at Summer NAM 2019. This is for the record. Uh, Ear Trumpet Labs. What is going on over here? <laughs> we're uh, we're making microphones. I like it. Yeah. So we hand build uh, microphones in Portland, Oregon. Wow. And they're all condenser mics. Um, kind of the main specialty about them is they're really optimized to work really well for live use. Okay. So condensers that are super stable and feedback resistant. So Portland, you said. Quick question: uh, Is is Portland? Do they drink as much coffee as Seattle does? Oh, they're amateurs in Seattle. Oh. They have no idea. I roast my own. So. You do. <laughs> you heard it right there. It's not just microphone labs. It's a coffee lab as well. Absolutely. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, all right. So what what makes these stand out more than than say your one of your competitors? The visual design is of course one of the one of the main things. Um, I started building them in my basement. Um, I first started building mics for my daughter, who's a songwriter. Oh, cool. And so, um, you know, I just got down a rabbit hole and into, into building microphones. And the materials I had around were uh, plumbing parts, and, and uh, there's some, like, electrical conduit and uh, uh, some restaurant supply parts and lamp <laughs> pieces. We have a pretty weird supplier list right. for our for our parts and pieces. Um, so when you're when you're trying to, to figure out, uh, were, were, was it a new sound? Was it the way that they were constructed? What made you say no no no? This whatever's out there right now, I don't like it. Let's make let's make this. The one of the big things was there. There's not really anybody else concentrating on condenser mics that work well live. Okay. So um, you know, except for very uh, mics designed for really close vocal use, um, and that was kind of the thing that surprised me the most. Sort of backing into the business and sound production was realizing that I loved the way these things sounded. And for anybody I knew, I knew a lot of musicians playing mainly acoustic, yeah. and all the live sound gear all seemed designed and, and optimized for rock and roll. And so, you know, it just seemed obvious to me that, like, the, the condenser sounded so much better. Yeah. And it's really not that, you know, everybody says they're going to be feedback bombs, but with a little bit of care in the design, it's not really an issue. And you can have really usable mics that sound great. So you made that first one. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for you to finally be like, okay, no, this is it. This is where we're going. This is, this is what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make more like this. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty pretty deep rabbit hole <laughs> once I started getting into it um, and getting into building it. It was a couple of years yeah. of, uh, you know, a bunch of prototyping and building the first ones and then, right. you know, having having musicians see them and, and be like, yeah, I really want to use that live and then working on optimizing them for that. Um, luckily, I, you know, I do have a lot of musician friends that would take them out and try them and give me, a, a, you know, a lot of feed, a feedback. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Pun intended. So, <laughs> something new that's coming out. Is there something that you're you're just like, no, no, no. This is this is what's happening now. Uh, I love all my other products, but this is something that's moving forward. This is the new technology, if you will. Is there something that you have that that you would say this is it? Huh. Um, what's well, your favorite? Let's go down that road. What's your favorite? Well, <laughs> oh, it's so hard. They're all my children. <laughs> um, they're not listening. They don't. They won't know. Yeah, I mean, I, and it, I'm just gonna hit a couple of them. Edwina. I I use all the time on everything. Okay. Um, really, really flexible. Just absolutely usable. Jack of all trades. Mike sounds awesome. Okay. Um, Mabel is probably sort of the unsung hero. It's the one multi-pattern one that I do. So it's really that one is more usable for studio or okay. or more specifically for studio use. Um, and because we don't really market in that world mm -hmm. as much. People don't really know about it, okay. but uh, it's an awesome sounding mic. Okay. The other really great one is uh, Nadine, is specifically for upright bass. And it's, that one like solves a problem that okay. you know has been out there for ages. Bass players always hate their sound live, right. their live right. sound in particular. None of them are happy with it. And um, I actually, bass players that use the Nadine actually like it. And, you know, I consider that a huge compliment. Uh, yeah. It's a, yeah, so it, it mounts directly on the bass. It's really easy to get on and off the instrument. Um, gives, really gives you that full large diaphragm, really accurate picture of the instrument, great sound. Um, uh, 
uh, with you know kind of minimal feedback problems sure. and and not much spill. So sure. So Philip, where can we find you online? EarTrumpetLabs.com. And your social media, everything's on there. Yep, and all everything that good stuff. is. Yep, yeah. Ear Trumpet Labs on all different platforms and and whatever's. Dig it. Dig yeah, it. dude, check out the website. We got a whole lot of videos. Um, really great music on there, and uh, really good illustrations of how they all work. Perfect, man. We we appreciate your time. Uh, good luck to you here at Name. Uh, this is Summer Name 2019. I'm Eric Black. This is for the record. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you later.